welcome record producer Bobby Z. Bobby Z. All right, man, 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 man. How you doing, Bobby? Doing great. Man, now you, how long have you been a musician? Uh, long time. I'd say I started at eight years old. Probably, really? Like, uh, I hate to admit it, 20 some years now. How many different instruments do you play? I played drums as a main instrument, and then I learned uh, a little bit of keyboards watching some really good people play. What about the drums attracted you? I think there was a drummer in my brother's band, David, uh -huh. and uh, he was the most amazing human being. I, to this day, he's probably the, still the greatest drummer in my mind. Really? But he wasn't. Okay. But, <laughs> but when you're growing up, of course, if somebody turns into like a mentor or something, uh -huh. you kind of like just think that they're amazing, and he just had a drum set, and I could play it, had access to it. I guess that's what it was, access at a really young age, you know? When did you start playing professionally? At eight. At eight? Yeah. What do you mean, we play some girl's house or something? Like, what is <laughs> we, uh, we were just really in an ambitious household. Okay. And there was bands starting at a really young age, and we were up and out of there and playing places. Uh, when did you finally meet Prince and start playing with the Revolution? That came um, about 1977, oh, 78. Okay. was the, the nuclear uh, explosion there. Okay, so you were Prince, I mean, when he made his first album then, that was like oh, the, yeah. the soft and wet. Oh, sure. At that time, now, you went, so you saw the transition where you went from kind of be like a regional artist <laughs> to where he became uh, uh, the, you know, the, the different hits to Dirty Mind until we had the big explosion in 1999, which we saw. Yeah. How did you change over that process of, of playing here locally then internationally? I, I don't think my attitude changed from the beginning. I think right from the beginning, I just said, I'm committed to this guy and I'm going all the way. It doesn't, you know, I just... I was ready to go. Uh -huh. So the change for me was just in the people around me. Okay. Because I was just had the same vision. It was going to go. Yeah, we were going to make a movie. Yeah, I mean, it was like there was no doubt. Uh -huh. It was never, you know, because he had no doubt. Uh -huh. He could just do these things. He could produce the miracles. We're going to be on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, sure. You know, bang. We're going to tour in front of the Stones. Bang. You know, I mean, he just had the ability to do that through music. And that was. I knew that right away. I mean, I've never been more sure of anything, ever. Really, what was the most incredible experience being on the road with Prince? What was something that really sticks out in your mind as something that was... There's, there's three. I always look back, like the trophies in your mind, you know. It's like the Superdome uh -huh. in New Orleans filled with people screaming. Wow. That, it was, that was like a sea of humanity. Uh-huh. And the Grammys and the American Music Awards. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Now, you've been touring Prince and you've known him for years. Do you think Prince looked as good as I do? I don't know. You're catching up, man. <laughs> now, now you departed Prince and the Revolution uh, how many years ago? Uh, 87, so. What, now, there was a, what, were you kicked out or did you leave? I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say kicked out, but I'm going to say, were you kicked out? Uh, or did you... <laughs> I'd say I was there for 10 years, so I wouldn't say kicked out. Okay, okay I'm sorry. I got, like, the gold watch and see you, you know? Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and since then, you've gone on to, to record your own album. Yeah, I did that. And produce some other acts and stuff like that. Uh, what are you doing now? Um, it's an interesting time I know. I just finished uh, a piece of music for a new artist on Charisma Records, Trevor Anthony. Mm -hmm. uh, real interesting uh, voice. And we did a great track. And it took two months to do one song. If anybody tells you this business is easy, battle back and forth, uh -huh. clear it up politically. We got it right, and now I'm moving on, and I'm going to Paris. Really? What's going on over there? There's a French artist. I can't pronounce her name yet. I wish I could, but I really can't. Okay. And well, bring me over the album. She's... pronounce her name all night <laughs> <Yeah>. long. <laughs> <laughs> and all wrong, too. <laughs> but still love it. <laughs> Woo! Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Please, man. Wait a minute. Dog. Oh, man. So that's fantastic, man. I appreciate you taking some time. It's coming yeah. down. Now, you a drummer. Can you show me something? How, how do they do the patty cake, man? Let me get a little rhythm going here. Ready? Give yeah. us a little beat. Ready? How you do it? Patty. Patty. I can't do that. Yeah, man. Oh, man. That's fantastic, man. You, we got practice on that one, but you're fantastic. I thank you for taking the time you're to come You're great, down. man. Oh, man. You've got a good judge and character. Bobby Z. Bobby Z. Bobby Z. Ow, 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 ow. Yes, 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 yes. Tonight, we need your support, so please write us. We're going to put the address up. You know, you can win tickets to Glam Slam Comedy Gallery. Oh, sit your ass down. Oh. <laughs> no, no, we, we love you, Bobby. But please, man, please. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>